There. Cece, um, Aaron mentioned that you had a cortisone shot in your shoulder. How long has the shoulder been bothering you, and were you surprised the, the way it did not bounce back the way you wanted it to? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I was surprised the way it didn't bounce back. Um, yeah, it's been something that we've been trying to deal with, you know, uh, past couple months. Um, and uh, thought that we had a pretty good handle on it. You know, I threw in that game in Tampa. and felt pretty good, but then I, I woke up uh, a couple days later and it was pretty sore. So we got the shot and then, uh, you know, I threw in the same game, thought it would feel a little better and it just didn't bounce back like I thought it would. Dan? Aaron said that you're going to continue to work uh, in, in hopes of be, being active if they advance. Is that something that, that you have your eyes on? Are you confident that you that it feels at a point now where you might be able to do that? Yeah, I mean, I'm just every day just trying to get better. Um, you know, I, I do feel like, you know, the longer um, we go, it's a better chance that I can get back out there. So, um, yeah, I mean, uh, we're going to keep working, um, you know, keep doing things in the training room to – try to get back out there and how tough how tough is it just not to be on the roster yes yeah, i mean obviously uh, you guys know me so it's it's uh it's tough um obviously being here and you know not not being able to participate in the playoffs um it, it's rough but um you know i didn't i don't want to put the team in jeopardy i want you know the best opportunity for this team to win a championship i feel like we have a good opportunity so um i didn't want to be selfish and go out there hurt and put the team in a bad spot Marley. CC, you're well recognized for being such a leader inside that clubhouse. What will you be doing behind the scenes during this ALDS now that you're not going to be an active player? Uh, just rooting, cheering, um, you know, be there for the guys, um, you know, try to, you know, be there as much as possible, whatever kind of role I can be in. Um, obviously still working to, to try to get back out there myself. Eric. CC, you've been in the position that James Paxton will be in tomorrow. Uh, how confident are you with him going out there as your game one starter? Yeah, I'm excited um, for him to, to get a chance to start game one. Um, really just our whole rotation. You know, um, I think everybody's made a lot about our pitching, but I'm excited to see our guys perform. Um, Pax, um, you know, Masa, I'm, I'm really excited to see Sevy pitch. Um, you know, we haven't saw him all year, so to get to get, get a chance to see him in the playoffs is going to be exciting. So looking forward to that. Uh, obviously, I mean, you know, him running off 10 in a row, um, you know, he's he's got the stuff. We knew that. And, you know, getting comfortable here as a Yankee uh, it takes you a minute. So, um, you know, I'm excited for him tomorrow. I think he I think he'll be good for us. In the front, right? It's easy right there. Um, Paxton mentioned that uh, he relied on some veterans on the team to help him, you know, prepare for his first playoff appearance. Did you have any advice for him? Back in clubhouse? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, you know, just talked about, you know, all those, you know, starts throughout the season, um, you know, first time against Boston, first start here. I mean, they're all big starts, um, and they're equal to playoff starts. So, um, you know, he has – he's has the experience, you know, so he just got to go out and, and um, you know, perform tomorrow. Okay. Sweeney in the front. Cece, is there any way to actually describe what the year has been like for you between all the celebrations and all the shots of different kinds? And what what you've been feeling? It's been um, it's been fun. It's it's been a good year. Um, you know, obviously I, everything I had to do to stay on the field with you know cortisone shots, different things like that, um, is tough. But you know, to be here with these guys, be in a position to, to to hopefully win a championship is is why I came back. I knew what I was in store for coming back. Um, you know, just you know, with with my knee and my shoulder and stuff. So, um, yeah, I mean, but but having a chance to win the division, you know, having a chance to to play, you know, be in the playoffs and hopefully win a championship is is why I came back. You're comfortable physically with the role that you'd be asked to fill once the shoulder is better. Oh, uh, any role, yeah, oh yeah, for sure. I mean, um, you know, that's that's no problem. Um, I think when you're trying to win the championship, you got to check the egos at the door and just go out and and try to get outs. We've talked to you so much about your knee. Is it just kind of weird that it's the shoulder that's keeping you out at, at this point of the season, you know, with, with this much on, on the line? Yeah, it is. It's, it's something that I never dealt with. You know, obviously, um, you know, n never having arm problems, um, you know, so it's just trying to, you know, work through it. Um, obviously, you know, do things in the training room to, to try to get back out there and play some catch and see how it feels. Anything else for CeCe? We'll take one more from Marley. 
CC, we all know that you've announced that this is your last season. Can you not, you know, the fact that this could be the end uh, of your career, do you see it that way or are you just looking forward to the ALCS? Oh, yeah, no, I'm just looking forward to, you know, having a chance to, you know, participate in the playoffs, play in the playoffs, um, hopefully get healthy enough, um, you know, and, and just be around here for the playoffs. I'm not I'm not really focused on, you know, it being my last time or whatever, just, uh, you know, trying to focus on winning the championship. Okay, great. Thank you, Cece. Really appreciate it.